The World Health Organization, also known as the WHO, is a world-renowned agency of the United Nations, with its headquarters in the city of Geneva in Switzerland. When diplomats met to form the United Nations in 1945, one of the things they discussed was setting up a global health organization. WHO's constitution came into force on 7th April 1948, a date which is now celebrated everywhere as World Health Day. WHO was founded on the principle that health is a human right and all people should enjoy the highest standard of health. The aspiration towards better health for everyone, everywhere, has guided the organization's work ever since. In partnership with countries, WHO has made impressive progress in many areas that promote our health and well-being. Diverse global health stakeholders engage with the WHO. WHO works closely with decision makers, ministries of health, government agencies, other government departments at the national level. They also work with influencers, health partnerships, foundations, intra-governmental and non-governmental organizations, media, professional association, and WHO collaborating centers. Their engagement with the United Nations at the global, regional, and country level is also a major asset. Heading the World Health Organization is Tidros Adhanom. He is an Ethiopian politician and academician who has been Director General of the World Health Organization since 2017. He previously served in the government of Ethiopia as Minister of Health from 2005 to 2012 and as Minister of Foreign Affairs from 2012 to 2016. More than 7,000 people from more than 150 countries work for the organization in 150 offices in countries, territories and areas, six regional offices at the Global Service Center in Malaysia and at the headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. In addition to medical doctors, public health specialists, scientists and epidemiologists WHO staff include people trained to manage administrative, financial, and information systems, as well as experts in the fields of health statistics, economics, and emergency relief. WHO has many milestones in the past years, such as these. In 1951, the WHO regional office was established and between 1952 to 1957 it saw the discovery of the polio vaccines which paved the way for the WHO facilitated global campaigns that had led to the near eradication of polio. In 1963 vaccines against measles became available. In 1983 to 1987, it saw the discovery of HIV which leads to AIDS. In 1995, DOTS was implemented, direct observable treatment, a strategy which saw the saving of 37 million tuberculosis patients. In 2009, the new H1N1 influenza virus emerged. 2014 saw the biggest outbreak of Ebola virus disease in West Africa. WHO deployed thousands of technical experts, support staff, and medical equipment to stop Ebola. In 2015, 
the WHO declared the European region malaria free. And in 2016, WHO announces zero cases of Ebola virus in West Africa. In 2019, it was announced that the coronavirus was now an outbreak all over the world. And in 2020, it was further announced that coronavirus is actually a pandemic. Nobody knows when WHO will announce the COVID-19 vaccine. But experts say the COVID-19 vaccine can only be ready in 18 months time. And looking at the previous fight with the Ebola virus, that might actually be true. Experts project that the coronavirus can wipe out 40 million people off the surface of the earth if no drastic measures are taken up. Let's wait and see as events unfold.